Yes! Real quick before we get started with the steps of this game and tell you guys, don't forget that you can get the full uncut, unedited, raw reaction to this game and tell you on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to rewatch steps along with me in their entirety as well as get all the other game remakes, definitely check it out. Otherwise, of course, we'll still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get the steps of guys. I love when they do these shots, like the sheets on the sheets. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ok, allora prova a dirti un'altra cosa noiosa. Eh, meglio, no. Cosa fai, la lavatrice? You do your own laundry? Wow! Non so, questa la lavatrice funziona, vai, continua. Prendi un misurino, ci metti dentro il detersivo e... Ok, funziona. Ma dove ti metti? She's gonna tell him. Tell him. Io non sono vergine. Lo sai che non ce l'hanno? No! Sì. Why? Why did he suspect it? What does that mean? Poi ho iniziato a frequentarmi con uno del quinto, che mi piaceva. E un anno e mezzo fa, a Capodanno... Un 18-year-old o un 14-year-old è f***ing weird. I suoi amici hanno iniziato a scrivermi tutti i messaggi, anche gli amici dei suoi amici. Le ragazze a scuola mi guardavano male e io non capivo. Poi ho scoperto che lui aveva detto a tutti che io ero una ninfomane e che ci stavo subito. E ha girato tutto il mio numero. Che carino. Mi dispiace per quello che ti ha fatto mio fratello. Ma tu non c'entri niente. Non so, ma mi dispiace lo stesso. I love that. He's such a sweetheart. Yeah, I really love in this version how he handled everything. He handled it the best of any of the Williams. He's like, it's not a joke. <laughs> He's not giving you a choice. He's just sleeping there. Lavi i piatti, mi dici il <ride> No, non ci penso proprio, guarda. Eh, I'm leaving. No, 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 cioè, hanno iniziato loro a picchiare Gio e Martino, e Edoardo non sono lì per aiutarli. Scusa, diciamo gli era la polizia, no? Cioè, non è importante chi ha iniziato la messa, yeah. capito? Cioè, se tu spacchi una serie in testa a una persona, comunque sei colpevole. Yeah, but it's self-defense. Un altro bagno? <ride> Non hai due interrogazioni domani? Sì, però so tutto. Dai, io no. No, che fanno, dai. Cuties. Hai presente Silvia? Certo. Eh. Sì. <laughs> you remember Silvia? No, I don't remember. Mi ha appena girato il numero. Who's di Silvia? Quella a cui hai tirato la sedia sulla schiena. Mm. Quindi? Niente, pensavo che potresti chiamarla. No. He looks so funny with wet hair. <laughs> It's so like flat compared to his... Se vi mettete d'accordo, nessuno fa nomi e non vi succederà nulla. Invece sì. Ti ho detto di no. Tranquillo. Mm. She gonna do it herself. Ma perché gli hai detto tutto? Ora che nessuno avrebbe parlato. Ma scusa, non mi hai detto tu che non devo picchiare la gente e che mi devo rivolgere alla polizia? Sì, però non gli intendevo quello. Ok, però se, se poi gli spunta okay. poi un altro video, o magari qualcuno alla fine decide di parlare. Io comunque vengo condannato e gli altri finiscono nei casini per aver detto una cazzata. That's true, but what if they all cover for him and then he tells the truth, then they're still gonna get convicted for lying. Tu. Party! 
So solo che adesso voglio organizzare una mega festa di fine anno dove ci sfasciamo di brutto. <ride> eh, prima o poi dovrò affrontare mio fratello. Giurami che non lo uccidi. Te l'ho detto. Giura? Giuro. Mm. Ormai credo alla giustizia. <ride> Cute. Why did I throw their backpacks though? <laughs> like, you need to keep your backpack. In the last day of school, this reminds me of last day of school, my senior year. Everyone like took all their papers out and threw them everywhere. And like the entire school was just like lined with papers. Oh, is this from the. Yeah, it's from like the trailer. Oh, the song too! Yeah. This is cute. I like this. I always wondered how they were gonna do this. Oh, this is cute. God, the cinematography in Scam Italia is insane. Oh my god. That looks so cool though. <laughs> They're so happy. I need a scene with Martino and Nicolo. <laughs> Poor zoned himself. Oh my god, for a second I didn't know that that was her. Um, I wonder if he's gonna go with Sylvia at some point. In this episode. Oh my god, look at her. <laughs> oh shit. Ciao. Hello there. Che guerra. Se vuoi puoi farla anche lei. Firma. Firma. Non lo tocca. Non lo tocca. Dai, lo vedete quel pollock? Era il mio pranzo per voi. Ah, vabbè. No. È per una volta che cucino il pranzo. E allora vi porto a pranzo fuori. Eh, non vedo alternative. Per me va bene, ma non danzo. Perché non danzo? Damn, look at her, like, reuniting with her mom, though. And I like that this is so, um... Oh, I like that. Because we never see Nora, like, be okay with her parents again. I really like that. That's a nice little change. Oh, these shots are giving me, like, chills. I don't know why. Oh, these are all their places where they had a moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Giovanni. Oh, shit. I never understand in parties and, like, at the club when people... I guess you have to be really drunk to do it, but when they'll like pour the stuff into you and it gets all over you, or they people like f around with that stuff and get it all over themselves, and it's like, why would you want to be covered in that? I guess if they're really drunk, they don't care though. Ciao. It's happening. Ciao. Come on, win her over. You got this, baby. Oh, she's not being mean. Oh, look at them in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> oh, he's making her laugh though. And she's not laughing at him, she's laughing with him. This is cute. He's being more confident now, too. Dario. She's got a man's. I'm waiting for Martino and Nicolo. We need a scene with them. I miss my babies. Wanna get out of here? <laughs> no. Oh shit. Oh my god, look at that look though. That's like a I wanna rip your clothes off type of look. Oh shit. He's gonna make her say it, huh? <laughs> oh shit. Oh this song too. Oh shit. Oh, 
I feel like, I don't know, I've always got the vibe that, like, she's gonna be written off at some point. Which, like, kind of makes me sad for when we get the sauna season, but... Because she wasn't in season two, and, like, I don't know, I just got the feeling that, like, they got her back for this season, and that's, like, all they're gonna get at her. <laughs> I love this scene with this song. Oh, <gasps> my babies! Finally! <gasps> yes! Finally! Finally. Oh, Philo too. Hell yeah, everyone's in love. Ugh. Aww. It's gonna be her turn. It's gonna be her turn. Ooh, I have goosebumps. Whew. Damn. She's gonna have a dramatic look. Yep. Guess that's confirmed that next season is sauna season. All right, guys, that was the season finale of Skin Italia. This was good. I liked it. Um, So, okay, so I'm gonna start off by saying uh, overall for the entire season, I think at points, it was a little bit weak. There were some points where I felt like the dialogue and, and some of, like, the emotion just, like, didn't... No, not really the emotion. Some of the dialogue and just, like, the way some of the scenes were set up just, like, didn't work at certain points. Um, like, during... The, like, I feel like the sexual assault storyline was a little bit weak. I thought pretty much the entire rest of the storyline for the season was really good, but the sexual assault storyline... Like, half of it was just weird. It just didn't... It didn't mesh right. Like, when she told her friends about it, it was just didn't... The dialogue was off. The scene was set up weird, and it was just... It was just weird. And there's certain parts that I felt, like, were lacking, and I don't know if it was for not enough time or what, but it, there was just points where it just felt like it was lacking. And that was really my only complaint about the season is the sexual assault storyline. Um, a lot of the stuff they handled really well with that, like... The fact that he apologized to her multiple times and the way he handled it was phenomenal compared to some of the other Williams, all the other Williams pretty much. And I thought that that was done really well. His response to it was done really well. And I liked that she told him instead of him finding out and freaking out on her, she told him. That was done beautifully. The reunion was done beautifully. That one shot of them reuniting and the fact that Philo was there with her and then kind of turned her around to see him. I thought that that was done beautifully. Um... This last episode was a really good wrap up and I just I just really like how they handle a lot of it. Um, like I said in the reaction, I feel like she's not going to be in the next season. I don't know why uh, because they brought up the whole like, so you're moving there with me, right? I just, we already saw her gone. And so would it make sense to do this whole thing for the next season? And I feel like this worked in OG because she was gone for a sixth season, but part of Isak's season. But then with this, it's going to be Sana's season, who's supposed to be like one of her best friends. I feel like without her, it's going to be kind of weird. And I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know what's up with the actress or like if she just isn't going to commit to the show full time, but it just feels like they've been like inching towards having her off the show. And I don't know why, or if she just can't do it or doesn't have the time, but it just seems like she isn't going to be sticking around for season four and I really hope that she is in it but the fact that they wrote in that line of like so did you tell your friends that you're moving to the U.S. with me and then she was like well I haven't decided yet just makes me think that her decision is yes and I feel like it's so pointless to do that whole storyline of him leaving because she already left we already got that storyline pretty much for season two so why are they doing it again unless the actress just can't be on the show full time which is the only thing that I can really think of as to why they would be doing that um, but I just, I just wish they didn't, to be honest. But yeah, I, like I said, I really loved how they wrapped everything up and how she told him that she was not a virgin. And just like that whole scene was really well done. And I love, love, love that Eleonora and her mom reunited and it wasn't, there wasn't any bad blood. And it just, that's something that in OG they never did. Uh, Nora never reunited with her mom and, or her dad. And 
it was just kind of open-ended that they didn't have a relationship. And this, we saw the mom kind of make an effort. And I thought that that was really, really nice. <sighs> I just loved it. I love that we got Martino and Niccolo kissing. We got to see a little bit of them. We got to see Sylvia and the Magnus character. I totally forget his name. I'm so sorry. Kiss, which was so great. And I love that we saw him kind of be confident for once and kind of just shoot a shot. And it worked. And it was really nice. And I loved that final scene. I loved the love scene with Eleonora and Eduardo. And it was just beautiful. Beautiful. The song and everything mixed with their conversation was just beautiful. And I really, really loved that final scene with Sana where it just kind of showed her watching everyone be happy with their significant others. And you kind of see her like pan over and then just like look straight at the camera. And it's just was cool. And I know people are a little bit conflicted about Sana because I guess the actress isn't Muslim in real life and they wanted a Muslim woman to act as a Muslim girl on the show, which is completely understandable and I get that. Um, but I know people have mixed feelings about it, but I'm not really sure. I, I don't know. I don't know what most people think, to be honest. I just know that apparently that's a problem, which I didn't know about that until recently. Um, but hopefully either way, it's done well and done tastefully. If they don't have a Muslim actress, I hope that they at least do it justice and do the Muslim storyline justice. Um, but it would be definitely be a lot more satisfying had it been a Muslim actress, but it's not. Um, but either way, I really enjoyed the season. I, I think overall as a season, I'm going to give it like a 8 out of 10. I just think that the sexual assault storyline was a little bit weird at points and a little bit messy at points. But overall, besides that, I thought the season was pretty, pretty good. Um, and I'm going to miss these two together. I hope they don't fully write her off, but I have a feeling that they will. So, I don't know. Let me know if I'm completely wrong, though, about that. And let me know if you know why all this is happening. But it just rubs me the wrong way a little bit. But other than that, I think I really enjoyed the season. And I think that is pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next season or some of the other scam remakes. See you then. Thanks for watching. Gentlemen, yeah.